Hey everybody, what's up? I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of So Kill No Fafna Did Aggressive Exodus in other in other word in other words. So if anything else, let's just get started. Now I I know this review is up very late. The reason being is that I stayed up I stayed at a certain I stayed I had to take care of some other things ever since then. So so yeah. Um if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning we see to it that these new kids who are controlling these Fafners that's been trained to go into battle, you know, um, has been getting these kinds of new powers, and it seems to be going well, you know, we see, we seen them, like, in the last couple of episodes back then, and, of course, like, um, as the episode goes on, we see to it that they are starting to kick some major butt, they've been caught, they're causing some damage to other, other things, and I just go, eh, whatever, man, so what's up, and, but, however, I think maybe because of these powers, I'm going to make a theory or po possibly a hypothesis that these kids are having some kind of strange side effects. Like, one of them gets wheeled up in a shield-like position, like some kind of box-like shield, you know? One, another one, is like some girl that gets teleported to a location of another comrade's house all naked after being in the bath. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then... As for um the other kid who has a samurai sword, I don't know. He ends up being teleported randomly everywhere, and I go like, "What's going on here? Hello?" And then, etc. And after that, we see to it that things just gotten back to normal as usual. But when the next day came, they end up watching some kind of news about this mirror thing, you know that green light pillar or whatever, you know? I don't remember the name, but I know it has some it might, it might play some importance in it. But, as the episode progresses, after a certain training they did, going into a bath, and after a bath, one of the girls ends up having these strange old black gold bumps in her back, you know? And then, the other, and as for another kid, he ends up weighing himself, he's like over 100 kilograms, and I'm like, what the freaking heck, man? And, as for this other kid, he ends up having a hole in his chest. I've gotten these characters' names since, like, um, I don't tend to remember them all. They end up having these strange old side effects that's been going around with them. I'm thinking my mind, what's going on here, man? Things are just getting a little crazy and hectic around here. And that's about it. So, another thing, too, was, like, bothering was, like, um, how are these things coming to play? Was it because of the power that they've been using that... They might have gotten in this episode, and possibly a couple episodes back after so after Soshi and Kazuki played played the role in. Who knows? But anyways, like um, nothing much was really going on, and as time goes by, I think they're gonna lose a couple things here and there. And as for the core of the island, I think she explored around here and there, having fun. I don't know, but yeah. So I'm just gonna end it here, people. My next review, which I am very very upset to see to it getting subbed out late. Well, yeah, it's going to be Gundam Geno Reconquista, episode 25. Ex expect that one up maybe past midnight, okay? Because right now it's already 11.51 for where I am right now. So if anything else, please be patient. I'll see you all till then. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. Bye-bye.